And I was very nervous to talk to him about it, talking about it in front of the whole world <laughs> at the same time. Someone I was like in love with or like in a relationship with was almost always on birth control. Like that's how it was in the past. I think that's honestly like our roadblock. I think that's, mm -hmm. I don't know if I wanna get on birth control just yet. Um, it's something that's very personal to me. And so it was definitely important to be brought up on. I mean, it, it really determined if we were gonna continue or not in that sense. And so, yeah, no, it was definitely very scary, but I knew that if it wasn't for him, then he wasn't the one. And if he was willing to see it through, then maybe there could be something there. I've never been on birth control. Like I've had talks with my gynecologist. It is ideal to be on birth control because I have to constantly get infusions. I am anemic. It would be ideal to do that, but I, like how regular everything is in my system. I don't want to alter anything. So there's definitely a lot of other things that we discussed in the meantime. This conversation went over the course of probably like a week and a half, and we had to really balance out the what's gonna be a Johnny Amy conversation and what's gonna be a Love is Blind conversation. Because ultimately, like, this is our lives. Like, we wanna make sure that we are making the right decision on everything. I know I mentioned a vasectomy. I know, I know. And there is, it's always like an option too. Like, it's not just like the girl's like job too. So we explored a lot of other uh, possibilities. I haven't seen the actual like episode, episodes where it aired. So I don't know what was shown versus not shown. But I feel like being able to talk about this same topic for like, you know, over the course of like a week and a half really made it so we were able to think about everything, do our research and come prepared, but also be open and honest with each other about what we were feeling and not having the other person jump down our neck saying like, no, this is like, it's my way or the highway. So right now I am still not on birth control. <laughs> at the moment, you never know in the future. I, at the end of the day, you know, I know that it's something that I could end up doing in the future and I support women doing what they feel like is best for their bodies. So um, I just feel like right now it's not for me. Amy? Yes. <laughs> Do you marry me? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Do you have any reservations in starting this relationship with her? Starting a relationship, no. Getting engaged, yes, just because it was a little too quick of a turnaround. During like the whole pods experience, like I asked Amy to be my girlfriend and like I felt like we were boyfriend, girlfriend as of right now. Then it was like I slipped out the I love you and it just felt like that was the perfect timing for it. The one thing I do want to do is I don't want to change you. I don't want to change you at all. I like you, like I love you. Like. <laughs> you, what? <laughs> Hey, Amy, I do love you. <laughs> <laughs> but then when it came to like day eight, day nine or whatever, like the proposal day was, I didn't know if I was really ready to be engaged because I never got to that point yet. I never felt like, okay, well, this is what it feels like to be right before the of a marriage. And right before, like the day of, I was like, yep, I'm gonna do this. Like I'm gonna propose her. Like I'm going to really go all the way with this and really give my all this experiment. I love your eyes, especially in the sun. Thank you. I do like your hair. You do? Mm. Thank you. It looks natural. Like, it looks like that's like the way it should be, too. It's hard to control sometimes. <laughs> Listen, just like a free. I'm grateful. <laughs> yeah, in the moment when I first saw him, I was definitely taken aback a little bit, but it doesn't take away the fact that he's still very handsome. And so the fact that we had established that mental and emotional connection, I feel like fueled the physical. Yeah, and no, I feel like it all played out like it should have. He doesn't think that you're all is enough for him, then that's not your guy. May I have your blessing to marry your daughter? For me, it is kind of overwhelming. You tell your friends and family you're going on the next season of Love is Blind. What is their reaction? Full support from my family, my mom, my sisters, everyone. They don't expect anything less from me, you know, to do something wild and out of pocket. So they were like, okay, makes sense for us. Mm -hmm. we're, we got your back. I had so much love and support from everyone. Everyone was over the moon excited for me, including my daughter. She was definitely my biggest fan and supporter. Yeah, and then for me, my friends were actually the ones that brought the opportunity to me. So they were super supportive, knowing that, you know, I was very marriage minded and was ready for that next step in my life. My family, however, were more concerned for me. I am concerned about my dad meeting him. Why? My dad was not supportive of this process at all. Really? I mean, I feel like in my culture, it's just like, you do things in a very traditional way. For my dad, it's gonna be very hard to accept that I would be getting married in a month to somebody that I just met a couple weeks ago. I come from a very like deep-rooted Latinx household, and so this is kind of out of tradition, we shouldn't do this kind of stuff, so they weren't the most supportive, but they know who I am as a woman, and they trust and support who I am. 
is our love and our relationship going to be enough? That is my biggest fear. Just from like our experience on our season, it was very real. I think my biggest thing I was most skeptical about was like, okay, can you really fall in love with someone through a wall in that short amount of time? Yes, yep. absolutely yep. you can. Like I will never stop loving you. I kind of felt like I could like fall in love behind a wall. Um, I was shocked at how quick it happened and with how many people it happened with, um, but I wasn't too surprised. I'm not that shocked, honestly. Like, I think for me, it's just a, uh, it's a good representation of my life. Like, I, I go into things maybe with a more of a pessimistic mindset, and then, but I always give it my all. And, you know, you learn and you change from that. Like, sometimes for me, like, I just try to go into things, like, I'll voice my opinion, and that was me kind of voicing my opinion that, hey, I'm really into physical attributes, so if you're not comfortable with your physical attributes, you might want to say no to me. It's a little bit of a strategy. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with AD, you know, I, I felt that I wanted to keep constantly showing up for her, and I had to look myself in the mirror, like, okay, the conversation I'm having is not working. How do I get to a point where she's able to look at me as her number one. Time will tell if I'm bride to be or bride to be not. All rise, please. <laughs> Do we feel love is blind after going through this experience? Love is blind. Mm, I would say so too. Love is definitely blind. I think so. I definitely take an approach of like giving different girls a shot <laughs> that I wouldn't have in the past mm. after the show.